Hey guys, and welcome back to Homes on Wheels. Today we're at Paradise Home Sales in Troy, Alabama, and we are featuring this beautiful home that you see right here called the Montana. This home is shaped differently than most all of the homes that we've ever filmed in the past, and these guys at Paradise Home Sales are the only ones in the entire state to have this particular home. If you take a look at the exterior, you can see right away that you have roof lines that look different. You got a secondary step in the roof, unlike most double wides. As you can see, as there's a lot the roof line continues straight across. This one just gives you a little bit of a mix up. It looks more like a stick built home, along with a beautifully built in front porch all the way across the front. Black trim and white trim, dark and light gray are the colors. The front porch does have the composite wood. And I apologize if I'm yelling, but the traffic is unreal out here. So let's go ahead and get inside though, where it's gonna be a lot quieter and give you guys this home tour. I think you're gonna be very impressed by it. Here we go. So as soon as you walk in, you can see you've got a really interesting entryway right here. Look up, you kind of got this nice beam in the ceiling shaped in a cross or an X. And directly in front of us is the biggest refrigerator I have ever seen in a mobile home. We'll get to that in just a second. If you look to the left over here, this would be your dining area. And this beautiful real wood that you see throughout this home is just as I said, it's real wood. Got a nice slide up there. The heating and air conditioning in this home is in the ceiling. And you may be wondering what this room is over here to this side that is separated off as soon as you walk through the entryway. Well, according to the floor plan that we looked at or the blueprint, this is actually made to be an office. So you could use it for whatever you wanted to. Uh, I could see even a piano sitting there and it would look really cool in the entryway. But if you had a couple of desks, you could set them up, set your computers up there and it would be a great place to work from home. Again, I really like the entryway of this home. It just sticks out compared to all of the others that we've ever seen. If you look down at the floor, it is a beautiful vinyl style floor that does match really well through the trim that's inside. So let's go ahead and walk in here towards this gigantic island. This kitchen is just massive. I think the home name being Montana kind of gives you the vibe for the rest of this home, which is just massive. <laughs> you think about big sky country. Well, these are, this is big mobile home country right here. Really big island. Got plenty of room for multiple bar stools. You got the marble style countertop up here. Looks beautiful. On this side over here, you got a place for your microwave on this end three large drawers all the room you could ever ask for in there guys multiple shelves down there within the bottom the appliances that are in this kitchen are stainless steel and this may be a first as well so you can see you got your stainless stove right here you do have your vent that's right here above the range you've got two kind of cubby holes right there for if you have certain types of dishes or something you want to be showcased or maybe you even just want to put your spices there up above it though this is what i've never seen before it's like a barn style door on the cabinets so you can open it up and you could leave this right here where that entire cabinet is visible and close off this center section or you can open it up and leave the other side closed never seen this before again this home's not perfectly level yet these these doors will hang in a much better manner once the home is leveled but i begged them to let me come in here and show you this before they were ready for me to Again, this home sports a ton of can lights, a bunch of more modern style lighting as well for the hang down fixtures. You got a beautiful tile backsplash, and yes, this is real tile. You have a double basin sink over here with a nice pull down. You know that's important nowadays. And a very large window above the sink that does open. Another huge deal for most of you. Now look at the size of this refrigerator. I kind of mentioned it there in the beginning. The handles aren't put on it yet, but holy mackerel, guys. I mean, what in the world? You could put a whole cow in this thing. Just absolutely massive refrigerator. I can't imagine what just this refrigerator would cost. <laughs> Next to the kitchen is the living room. And in here you have a beautiful electric fireplace along with four large windows over to the left side that are going to let in a, a large amount of natural light. Again, that beautiful wood continues around the fireplace. It is wired above the mantle for your TV. 
The sheetrock inside of this home is a finished sheetrock. And we're just going to kind of mosey around. I don't know which way is the master and all that kind of stuff. I looked at the floor plan very briefly. So if you take a right right here, this is going to be what looks to be your very first guest bedroom. And this is probably going to be the smallest bedroom of them all. So I'm going to stand right here in the corner and just give you all a little bit of a panoramic shot. It does feature a window. I do like the door style. This is the Craftsman style doors. It does have the darker handles and stuff. It is a wire rack within the closet. However, that's an easy fix for those of you that like to complain about wire racks. Remember, you can jump on Amazon and for about 50 bucks a closet, you could have the beautiful wood racks that everybody likes. So we're gonna stay to the right. This is going to be your second guest bedroom. And this one is much, much larger. This is actually a really big room. And this one has a walk-in closet and two windows instead of one. So if you walk into the closet right here, it is a really, really good size closet. Give you a little bit of a floor to ceiling shot. And that kind of gives you an idea of the size. It does have a smoke detector in each room. Worth noting for those of you guys that are safety oriented. And at the very end of the hallway is your third guest bedroom. And this is another really nice size room. You do have control for your fan right here, which is nice. If you don't want to reach above your head and be yanking on a chain multiple times, you've got your high, low, and medium. That's a feature that you don't see in a lot of homes. Come over here and give you guys an idea of the size from this angle. And if you walk right in here, you can see that it's got another massive walk-in closet. So, so far we've done three guest bedrooms, two of which had massive walk-in closets. And there again, there is your smoke detector there and there. And as we make a right, this is going to be your guest bathroom. And this is always a big deal to me. I always like having at least one window in the guest bathroom to let in that natural light. This is a single piece shower tub combo unit, which is a big deal for those that are wondering. The reason for that is, is when you have a double piece, which means that your sides are separate from your tub basin, it just allows for an area for leakage, which could cause rot in your floor at a later period in time. And that is a massive tub, guys. This thing is super wide. This is definitely not your just average size bathtub. The gray cabinets continue in here that match the kitchen cabinets along with the tile backsplash that matches as well. So let's make our way towards the other end of the house. And as you can see, there's the microwave in the box. They haven't had time to put it in the island that I showed y'all beforehand. So your microwave would sit directly across from your sink and dishwasher for those curious. And if you look right here, here is your thermostat for the home. Very nice. Right here to the right though, is going to be your laundry room. Has a beautiful built-in bench, a great spot to sit down and take your shoes off. You could use it as a mud room. You also got places to hang your jackets and coats up. Behind this right here is going to be, you guessed it, your electrical panel. And over here, you do have a nice divider between where your washer and dryer would sit. So this right here is a nice size workstation. You do have the metal rack above it. Again, that's something that could easily be replaced with a wood rack if you wanted it to be. And your rear exterior door is right here. So you would build a nice deck back there, or at least I would, and have a barbecue grill on it. So once you walk out of here, as you can see to this side, you can see the vent on the door. Well, this is gonna be your heat and air return. And for noise reduction, you can see that they sheetrocked even the back side of the door to keep this home incredibly quiet. Now across from the laundry room and the mud room is this room over here. And guess what this is? This is gonna be your pantry, guys really big pantry just off the kitchen. So if you step back and look, kitchen's right here, pantry's right there. And quite honestly, a perfect spot for either a secondary fridge, not that you'd need one with that behemoth of a fridge they have in here, but you could at least put a deep freezer if you wanted to. Nice big window in here lets in plenty of natural light, plenty of room to store all of your canned goods for you preppers out there. And last but not least, we're gonna show you guys the master bedroom and this is a good size bedroom guys nice big room 
plenty of room for a bed on any wall. That's what I always look at in a home. I don't like being narrowed down to where I can only put a bed on one wall. Here you can put it in front of the windows, this wall or this wall, all would fit a king size bed without an issue. If you look right here, massive walk-in closet with built-ins, plenty of room for all of the shoes you would ever need, a built-in bench, you got a couple of drawers in here. And this is awesome. I know what my wife would ask me though. She'd be like, well, where are you gonna put your clothes? <laughs> Guess that's what a dresser's for, right? Now let's check out this massive bathroom, guys. I love the bathrooms in these new mobile homes. They're always wow factors. If you look right here, an absolutely beautiful standalone bathtub. And I love the big bay windows right behind it. And a lot of people are always like, man, I hate these windows because it doesn't give me the privacy. However, if you're like me and you live out in the woods, you don't really, you're not really worried about privacy. But as you can see, they got mini blinds up there. So you can close those if you're worried about the privacy factor. And that beautiful real wood continues in here as well. If you look over here, you do have a nice walk-in shower. Some of us don't like to climb in and out of the bathtubs. Well, take a look at this beautiful marble style shower right here. Shower head is not installed yet. They haven't had time. But if you look down here on the bottom, you've got a bench as well. So if you did want to sit down in there and relax, you could and let the water hit you. And I like the dark accents even on the shower doors. Another big window right here. And you know what? Here is your potty closet or water closet as some people like to call it. We like to be funny and call it a potty closet though. And even the potty closet has a window. So that is super nice. And over here, guess what you got guys? You have a double vanity sink. And do y'all see what's hiding behind those mirrors. They didn't tell me about this, but I think I see an Easter egg hiding behind there. Let's see what happens. Look at that. That's super cool. So just like in the kitchen, you have your barn style doors, but these are barn style mirrors. So your mirrors will actually go back and forth and you've got a great place to hide like your shaving cream, razors, medicine, all that behind each one of these mirrors. Never seen anything like that. It's like a hidden compartment. <laughs> Who would have thought there would be a hidden compartment in a mobile home today? I know I wouldn't have. And again, those beautiful gray cabinets continue in here and the tile backsplash. So guys, you may be wondering what the price is. Well, the prices have been cha changing pretty frequently. So Paradise Homes, since they were so nice as to let me come in here and film this before they were set up, I told them if you wanted to know exactly how much this home costs, that you could give them a call right here. Paradise Home Sales, 334 five six six nine eight nine eight and if you guys will follow us right up here to this video while we go check out the next home tour